greetings, Brian Keeler here. I'm back in my studio in Ithaca, New York, and um, I'm resuming this painting that hopefully you saw me in an earlier installment where I was doing the sunrise right out in the field over uh, Keuka Lake, uh, north of Hammondsport. And the painting that you see on my easel is the, the same one. I've uh, spent quite a bit of time though uh, painting it and uh, finishing it up. And I'm just doing some final touches here today, and I'll just sort of restate uh, what I've already done just to uh, uh, affirm the uh, uh, decisions that I made early on that day. But the important thing was that I got everything established. It has a nice uh, composition, a very uh, cohesive uh, figure ground relationship, which means the relationship between light and dark. And all that was established, uh, you know, in the first uh, 20 minutes, half hour out there in the field over um, beautiful Keuka Lake. And uh, I'm just going to restate some of the things that I talked about there, this uh, relationship between the bales of this nice uh, uh, triangulation that I mentioned. The eye level is uh, right about here. And that's key in, uh, whenever you're doing architecture because you have to uh, think about the, um, the vanishing points and the uh, orthogonals and where these uh, lines of the uh, buildings and uh, uh, the windows and so forth all kind of need to uh, line up uh, properly. I was far enough away from the barn that everything's kind of going on a horizontal uh, level in the same way that the house is. And as I mentioned, the, uh, the uh, 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 perspective was uh, quite uh, key in that respect. So uh, you can come in close here, maybe point down to my uh, palette here for a second. I'm mixing up just a, a warm light color using a little bit of cadmium yellow and this uh, white, and um, I put a little bit of Naples yellow. So it's just a simple uh, light color, and I'm going back in here on my painting and kind of uh, confirming and uh, restating that, and just uh, bringing up the value. Whenever you uh, apply color, you should always think, are you uh, lightening it, are you warming it, and uh, modeling it? So there's several things that are accomplished all at the same uh, time when you're painting. Uh, one thing that I'm going to do is uh, put in a few of these uh, air holes and I'm going to uh, use my uh, my mall stick here to uh, steady my hand. I used this mall stick uh, quite a bit uh, when I was uh, doing the uh, finer details in the windows and so forth. So these are just a few final touches uh, that I'm uh, adding in here into these, uh, I, I call them uh, air holes. It's just where the light is passing through uh, the, the trees here. And I could sort of, I talked about this in the earlier video, this uh, highlighted area of the, um, of the bales from the, the sunlight coming in here. And, and as I said, uh, I invented the bales here uh, to uh, help augment this perspective issue of, of going back into space, but uh, on the other one, the sunset version of uh, Seneca Lake, they, the bales were actually there. And I put a few uh, air holes in here too. Um, I'll do one other thing here of some of this um, uh, uh, light that's coming through here, just to kind of... Uh, bring that out a little bit more. I had this sort of beam of light here, just kind of understated, not do it too much, but uh, there was some uh, of this kind of effect here. Okay. So, um, as I said, the painting was pretty much uh, done when, I, when you uh, started, when you first saw me here today. Uh, but I wanted to point out a couple of other versions of the same scene. Over here to uh, my right is a, another uh, painting that I did of the exact same scene, slightly different angle. But it was done, um, uh, instead of at sunrise, it was done at sunset. And you can see the effects of, of, of light here. and. Uh, I invented the clouds in this particular painting, but I've seen uh, the clouds many times uh, from that, uh, of this type of cumulus clouds. And it's a very enjoyable and creative uh, process of uh, 
of creating these clouds. And then over here on my other side is another version that I'm uh, in the process of, uh, of working on. And this painting is also of the same scene, but I put uh, myself in here, a self-portrait, so to speak. Uh, so this one's about halfway down. I have uh, quite a ways to, uh, to go on it yet. And um, so it's uh, in the process, and uh, I've been working on these clouds, and uh, I'll just do little touches here to show you uh, how it's... At what stage it's at here? And the sun coming up underneath it, up, up here and catching these various clouds. And I have these different layers of clouds. I've, I have the clouds organized one layer, two layer, and then another layer behind that, and then eventually going back into space there. So um, that's what I wanted to show you here with this conclusion of the uh, Kiyuka sunrise. And uh, the important thing was that I started it right on location with a plein air uh, painting. And then I've done these uh, other variations. And I have this uh, one other one also on the floor that uh, I did uh, as a plein air painting as well. In, in other words, I sat right there on location and, uh, and did that painting. So uh, I'm taking the same uh, motif, same theme, and uh, doing it at uh, various times of day. So uh, these uh, videos are meant to be an uh, introduction and for you to uh, uh, look at my website and there's several uh, full length versions where you can go into much more depth and uh, detail where I explain everything about uh, my palette and my approach. So I, I hope you uh, look at those too. Okay, thanks so much for your attention.